What are you gonna do with all that squash? I'm gonna show you. Typically, I don't even eat yellow squash. I'll eat it if someone is serving it to me. I think it is wonderful, but for some reason, it's just not been a part of my life. Now that I have it growing so prolifically in the garden, I need to figure out what to do with it. So I do want to incorporate it into my diet. It is delicious. It is healthy for our body. I have done a little bit of research and have made some delicious meals that I'm gonna share with you today. done a lot of research on squash and I use zucchini so that's what I use for my zoodles and zucchini boat and things like that and I let these get a little bit too big you don't want them too big because then they can get tough but I have a whole lot more just in case I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up I think they're gonna be okay but these have hair on them and so you wash it off I'm not really sure what that's about it's quite interesting I might say I'm just going to slice them. I see people cube them. I like them better in slices, so that's what I'm gonna do today. Next is onion, and I'm gonna get that sliced up. Put that to the side. So good for you. It's actually on the anti-cancer list. So eat those onions anytime you get a chance. I'm gonna cut mine a little bit more like cubes. They're not cubes, I don't know, triangles. That's it, two ingredients. We are going to saute in butter. You don't have to, you can use olive oil if you would like. I am not against butter and I've talked about that on a lot of my other videos on why it's actually very good for your body. You just wanna make sure that you get it from a good source. I'm having this with burgers, pasture raised, burgers. I'm going to let this melt. Go ahead and turn on my air fryer. So I got my burgers heating up and my butter heating up. I'm going to go ahead and put it in because it's nice and bubbly. I'm not going to cook it to death. I want it to have a little bit of crunch so that it retains the nutrients. Give it a stir and we're going to add some salt and pepper. Look how pretty my salt is, it's all pink. Different shades of pink, that's what you want. That or gray, whatever kind of sea salt you use, you want it to have color. I am gonna use fresh garlic. You can use powder if you would like, but since I have fresh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. And you wanna wait and use your garlic last because when you use it at first, it can cook out all of the health benefits. I'm gonna use the Cortito. I have a video on this, and this is raw sauerkraut. Amazing, probiotic, rich, delicious. And on the side of this dish, it just adds so much flavor, and it's absolutely amazing. And today I have a live audience again. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Way more energy when you have a live audience, so I have to feed the audience, right? Yeah. And my mom loves onions, and I know she likes squash too. Thank goodness, thank goodness. Put that Cortito on the side. I have no idea if I said Cortito or Cortado. I can't get the name right. It's Cortito. You don't, it's raw. Get all those wonderful benefits in there and it's nice and crunchy. So delicious. Absolutely delicious. It's a quick and easy way to get some of that squash in your life, having it for lunch or dinner. Great leftovers as well. What you think, Mom? I like it. Tasty. Today I am making squash muffins in this episode of what to do with all that yellow squash. And I think that this is a great thing to add to your repertoire because you can add some veggies in and the kids will never know. So the first thing I did was I boiled about a pound of squash and that was about three medium size. And I sliced them boiled them for about five minutes until they were fork tender. And then I put them in here and I added one egg and a stick of butter plus two tablespoons melted butter. Put it in here, whipped it all up. That's good to go. And now moving on to the flour. And the type of flour that I am using is oat flour. I am grinding my own oats and I need two and a half cups. You can use your 
blender, you can use a magic bullet, and all of those work just fine. You can put it in your food processor and do it like that as well. Just get that going. I might have to do this in batches because I'm not sure that this is big enough. I have a larger one, but it's preoccupied in the refrigerator, in the freezer with a smoothie. It's just easier for me to measure it out if I pour it in here. Oat flour weighs less than regular flour, so it's a little bit of a math trick. So when you are wanting to substitute, just make sure that you keep that in mind. I'm gonna be using two and a half cups of oat flour. This isn't typical for me, but today I'm using Florida crystals for sugar just because I feel like it's going to make this a little lighter and fluffier instead of using honey or maple syrup. The sucanat that I typically use is more dense. So for this, especially since we have a vegetable in here, we want that flavor point to be delicious. So we will be adding two thirds cup of sugar, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and one and a fourth teaspoons of sea salt. Whisk that together. And now I will add in my, there it is, I was looking for that. Now I'm gonna add in the liquid. I don't know if you know how healthy squash is for you, but it is definitely something you want in your life. It's high in fiber and vitamin C, and it can also help to speed up your metabolism. So great for those trying to lose weight. Mix that together. Even the batter tastes good. I really enjoy the scoop because this is the large and it's about the size you need for the muffin cup. Just makes it really easy to measure. And you can get these on Amazon. I'll put my link down below if you would like to order some of the items. If you wanted to make these vegan, you could easily swap out the butter for coconut butter. And you can replace the egg with a flax egg, which I've used in other recipes and it works amazing. We're gonna pop these in the oven on 375 for 20, 25 minutes. See you in a minute. Muffins are finished. I always just take them and tilt them to the side, let them cool completely. Look at that. Moment of truth. Perfect amount of sweetness. You would never know that squash was in here. Super moist. These are delicious. For the third thing on what to do with all that squash, today I am making squash fritters. And the first thing I did was shred the squash. After I shred them, I put them on the paper towel and they have been laying here probably about 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm just going over with a top paper towel one more time just to make sure they're as dry as possible. And then in here, I went ahead and beat my egg with pepper, salt, and garlic powder. And I finely chopped an onion. Put my egg in there and my onion. Give that a good toss. My squash, they're really big. And so I am probably going to just leave it at this. I'm starting with a tablespoon of butter and I like to use my cast iron skillet for this. I'll give that a minute to melt. It's just about ready. You wanna make sure that you have enough butter in the pan so that it will form a nice golden crust. We want them nice and crispy and you want your butter to be not burning, but you want it hot. I like to use the scoop for this perfect size. Sizzling now, I'll flatten that out. I want it nice and crispy and thoroughly done from the inside out. Let that fry up until you can tell that the edges are starting to get done and that's when we'll flip it. And while those are frying up, I'm going to enjoy a little bit of coffee. My favorite pastime. 
Okay, these are looking good, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip. They are done and so delicious. More like hash browns. I am remaking these. These are delicious, but I don't like how they came out. Not like a fritter. This to me, it's kind of more like hash browns. What happened is I did not get enough of the liquid out of the squash. So I went ahead and put it in the colander, mashed out the liquid, and we're gonna try it again. This time I added a little bit less salt. I did feel like they were a little bit too salty. And so to this mixture, it is one egg, I still mince the onion, half a teaspoon of sea salt, fourth a teaspoon of pepper, and I used about a fourth a teaspoon of the garlic powder. Go ahead and melt your butter again. That's more like it. They look beautiful. You do wanna be careful when you turn them over because they can burn on the bottom and then it'll just pull it off. And we want that crispy goodness. Perfect. I'm gonna to top this with some Greek yogurt. You can do sour cream. I actually prefer Greek yogurt and then I'm getting that punch of probiotics and put some scallions up on top and go enjoy my lunch outside where the sun is beautiful. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every one of you. And I just ask if you're enjoying these videos, if you would just share them with others and let them know where the good stuff is, where they can come and learn healthy tips for optimal health. Thank you so much. If you would like, subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell so that you'll be notified when I have new content coming out. And there's a lot coming your way. Thank you so much.